Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel and for today's vlog, I will share to you how to become an au pair in Europe, what to prepare before applying, and where to look for host families. Without further ado, let's get started! Anyone 18 to 30 years old and married and without kids in general can become an au pair. Au pairing is a cultural exchange program where you can go abroad, experience the culture of that host country, and have an exciting opportunity to study another language and travel across Europe. But first, you have to know which country you want to go and check their corresponding requirements. Each country has their own set of requirements. For example, in Belgium, they only accept 18 to 25 years old au pair applicants. And uh, for Sweden and France, they accept up to 30 years old. In general, you have to prepare the following before starting to look for host families. First, your letter to the host family that contains your personal introduction, your age, where you come from, how many are you in the family, your skills, your abilities, and your hobbies that could potentially help your host family when you come there as an au pair. And if you have taken care of kids in the past or you've volunteered in a child center, for example, uh, you may include pictures with kids so your host family could get to know you more. The next thing you have to prepare is your passport. So it's better to get your passport as early as now because when you get your host family and start to process the papers for the visa, it's faster rather than um, applying for a passport and waiting for your passport to come before uh, processing the papers for the visa. So yeah, passport is a must for my opinion. And the next thing you need to make sure that you have are references. These are people who your prospect host family could ask for your childcare experience. So most of these families are going to feel comfortable in leaving their child to you if you already have experience in caring for a child in the past. Be it your siblings or your nieces or nephews or your volunteering experience. The next thing would be driving license and your first aid certificate is something optional. I was able to become an au pair in Sweden, Belgium, and France without a driving license or a first aid certificate. So if you have it, it's good because it increases your chances of getting selected by host families faster. But if you don't have it, it might take a while. So yeah, I think it's optional. It's not something that you need to have right away. A pair sometimes requires you to take the kids to their activities so having a driving license comes in handy. Some host families have babies that requires you know delicate care so they prefer someone who has an experience or has a certificate in, in first aid knows how to do first aid. And last thing you have to prepare is your own funds. So as an au pair, uh, you will take care of most of your expenses like your flight, your, your visa application, getting your own passport, your hostel stay, while waiting for the decision. Some host families are willing to contribute a part of your expenses but this is always not the case. So make sure you have money to prepare. The websites that I'm going to share to you guys are the websites that I personally signed up for when I was still looking for host families back in 2019. First is Ofini.com. It's a really nice website. It's free. But if you want to directly contact and message the host families in this website, you have to pay a certain fee. Next is Opair.se. It's a good website as well. It's completely free. The good thing with this website is that if a family is interested in you, they will contact the owner of this website. The owner of that website will email you and schedule for a Skype call. You have to fill out their application form. Next is Au Pair World. This is probably my favorite website among all of other websites. You can find all the information that you need in this website when it comes to um, looking for a host family in different countries. And apart from that, I found my Belgian family from this website as well. Next would be Au Pair.com, GreatAupair.com, 
Energy Au Pair, really nice websites, completely free. And when I was still in Europe, I was able to receive a lot of messages from host families in this website. Next would be AuPairAgent.eu. One of my friends was able to find a host family from this website and according to her, you just have to pay a certain fee and they will do everything for you when it comes to the paperwork and they will match you with their current host families. So last but not the least would be recommendation from a friend who's already in Europe looking for host families in Facebook groups. Yeah, just be careful of scammers. If they ask you for money, don't do it. That's all guys for today's vlog and I hope you learned something from this video. If you have questions, comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and like my video if you like this kind of content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next vlog.